Hello everyone, this is Lam. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to do a super simple flip cup on a 10 by 10 canvas using these colors. And they are just some turquoise and blue, purple, magenta, pink, and gold. And I'm going to dump everything in the flip cup because this is the third pour I did with this batch of colors. So I was more than ready to get rid of them. <laughs> so no holding back here. Everything in the cup. Except my metallic white. I saved that for flowers. But anyway. So even though I put everything in the cup, there's still a little bit of paint left in the cups that is for flowers as well. All right, so almost there, almost went through all the colors. Okay, put it aside and I'm going to put a little bit of black down. And I only have a little bit of black and then some liquid gold. And I'm going to put the rest of the black on top. And I was trying to see if the liquid gold would surface but it didn't. Anyway, flip the cup. Now this is a pretty color combination. Now with flip cup, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes the colors would come out really pretty and balanced and sometimes it would be just like one dominant color and the rest of them would cover up. Now this time I got lucky because the color combination is very well balanced. Nice, uh, you know, nice amount of blue and turquoise and pink. So it looks like it has a good formation already. It's the interesting composition starting to form. Here. Okay. Look at this. If I stop right here, that would already be an interesting abstract. But knowing me, I always like to make something more out of it. So already, as I was torching, I was already seeing green leaves. Look at those two uh, two things that's going up on the right side. They look like leaves to me. So I did not mix any greens, but they are turquoise and they're green enough. Everything is relative. So I start using my metallic white and laying out some flowers, well, flower petals. Because I was thinking I just need one flower. So. Here and this is violet. See, I love this deep violet. And then next, I'm going to put my metallic pink and some metallic purple. And this is some other reddish purple and then a little bit of turquoise that's metallic aqua and now liquid gold i am obsessed with liquid gold as you can see my last two or three videos were with liquid gold in it and it does make a very good accent especially after it dries it can it kind of adds another dimension to it so okay here's how i made the flower just use my cotton ball because this is a small flower so i'm not going to use my balloon the cotton balls are enough so i'm just rolling away and pay attention to the, the look at go how it flows on top and it makes you know some like nice interesting petals 
on top of the metallic white and all those colors. And look at that. See, it's already looking pretty and I don't need to do much to it except I put a little bit of more liquid gold and a little bit more white there because I want a little bit more on that. Okay, use my finger because that is just too small even for the cotton ball. So fingers is our best friend. All right. So you see this one single flower is taking really good shape and I'm going to pretty much leave it at that. Now that flower is floating and I don't want it just floating there. I want to put a stem to it to connect that to, to connect the flower to the leaves. So how do I do that? Okay, I put some turquoise on the side and use a mixing stick. Just draw it. Drawing on the pour is tricky, but it can be done. Just need to refine the end a little with a bamboo stick. No biggie. Okay, now. Now I have the flower, I have the stem, I just, and I have the leaves on the right side, but I need something on the other side to balance things out, otherwise all the actions are on the, that the right side of the flower, nothing on the left. But anyway, first of all, I am drawing a line of liquid gold on the stem because that would give it more definition and then I am adding some liquid gold to one of the leaves and another one so what I'm doing off camera is that I have I drop some liquid gold on my wax paper and then I dip my bamboo stick in it and just draw like that it's simple and easy now I am just going to add some little thin lines or gold leaves whatever you call it now this is a simple composition I don't want to over complicate things so I'm not going to go crazy about making big huge leaves or a lot of crazy patterns. I'm just going to add maybe, yeah, a couple more. Maybe one more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. I was <laughs> still trying to mess with it a little bit. Okay, a little bit more there. Yeah. Yeah, still trying to see if I could doctor up anything else because I like to mess with things but overall I am happy with that so I'll call it done see it's just like that and I'll show you the close-up right now look at the colors and the tiny little bubble cells the flower itself turned out pretty and those turquoise cells they just look so gorgeous and the magenta and the blue such good combination I'm really happy with this one and look at the dry result don't you like it? I do so here is it thank you so much for watching Please like, share, and subscribe. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time.